you do not want to get stuck in the in the soup of Team Liquid's AOE spells. It's going to be a gross place to be. Just so much damage over time. Good old Liquid Soup. Yeah. And the they put another King. circle into it. Get the Monkey King in the mix as well. Quite a bit of farm, though. Being able to trade. Yeah, so far he's doing a good job with the CS. He's 7-3. Leading the way. A little bit of a slow over onto Boxy. He's got the Shadow Realm up in a moment here. No, doesn't even bother. Level 2. Level 2 timing. Just got too close. Gets caught. Dragon Tail and he's dead. Yeah. Freaking piercing as well. Uh, it's pretty just, nice. Just a lot of right-click damage coming in. We'll start over onto 33. Drop down the Bramble Maze, but Pike sidestepping it pretty nicely. Get a little bit more damage here. Don't quite have it, but it's enough to force 33 back. Does have double bracers, but no healing as well. This is happening. Oh boy, all right. There's a uh, rotation to that mid lane. Bottom lane. Well, Misha trying to pull the creeps here. Ooh, 33. A little surprising there that he went for that aggressive, or not aggressive, but just running away. And they get the kill now. Yeah, Moose has magic guy, stick as well, so he is completely fine holding that magic Enough stick. Damage microwing that you're going to be able to do and take yeah. advantage of it. I'm not surprised. Though they do spawn him out, so now he's probably wishing he had a little bit more help. Wildwing Ripper, nicely put. He's going to be able to push him up to the high ground as Lumpy is here. Now toss up into the air, get one of those. Uh, Nice emphasis in the follow up from El Misho. Perfect reaction, perfect rotation time. Blood grenade, there it is. The hunted becomes the huntress. The Wind Ranger going for a uh, Maelstrom build, the Mana Boost Maelstrom. Classic. They do not like the fact that he's trying to do these shenanigans. Look at this. Immediately, Lumpy's like, all right, let's now fire take my lane, get some, uh, get some levels, and I'll get myself a kill. Wisdom Rune. Protected as well, and Samia not getting to steal. He was. They scanned for that too. They figured that he was on his way. Oh, the toss! toss. Back over to Vitaly. Almisha's here, and this is looking like a dead Samia. That's a nice play. Toss doesn't actually require you to have vision on the target that you're tossing, so he just walked towards the corner and threw the treant out of there, even though he couldn't see the treant. Yeah, so he can start ramping up his farm speed. Already using the ulti just to oh. just to farm. Nice First take down. coming out from Nisha. Ah, that was such a crucial kill for them. Now TPing mid, looking for Lumpy. Oh, down. Does have El Misho nearby if needed. Can use a cookie if they need that extra little bit of save. We'll just try to uh, stun him up instead. Nisha hops down. We'll see moves and Lumpy. They're in like the perfect angle to just attack. He's just on a killing spree. Man, I told you, Lumpy's tiny. Let's fight, but they do they see 33? I don't think they do. No, not yet. Not yet. See now. Oh, now they do. Now they do. They found themselves a Sand King. So he oh, starts channeling up that Lumpy. ultimate, puts a lot of damage over onto moves, but the snap fire kisses. Slow them down just a little bit, turn their attention back over to the side. They get Nisha. Now Insania, he's hiding in the trees. 33. He's got that living armor on him. In comes the Roche. Gonna try to cookie hop away for Almisha, but he's still going to end up falling. As Moose needs to be careful, he's taking a lot of damage from that Sandstorm. Vitaly, turn that tension back around. Looks like they're on the retreat because Mickey is here. The power shot comes through. We'll slow down a little bit. Let's push the pack him off. Ooh, close. Uh, but you can see now Liquid also kind of like breaching the enemy lines. They go back around because they oh. know that they're making moves over onto their monkey. Even going for the stampede. They just want to finish off Misha. It's hard though with that living armor. They need a little bit more damage. Wind is going to come in from Mickey. He's doing a lot of damage. They need to keep Misha alive. It looks like they're going to be able to because they lose Pike. They lose Vitaly. And now Moose. He is in with Lumpy. It's not looking good for him. And Lumpy now. He is trying to just run away. Toss is back. But there's too much damage. I think. Yeah, there it is. And there's only Solo play. Oh yeah, Boxy. Hello. Oh. We'll end up falling for it, but. Uh... So you're basically getting it brooch hits for free during the ulti, and. Oh, 33. Oh, I don't think Can he was expecting kill? that. All Can right, they actually push them though? But they jump around to the side. He's very, very tanky. They do manage to cancel out his ultimate. Can they finish him off? There's a question. It's the impetus coming in. Mickey over here on the slide. They're going to be able to follow up. Beautiful overgrowth into this Monkey King ultimate. But Mickey's still too low. They'll end up getting Insania. And Lumpy will also fall. But we still have Pike. He's got a fresh, for the most part, dragon form here. So. Yeah. I don't think he can kill the Snapfire quite alone. 
toss up over on Nisha. Doesn't really have the rest of the team. Oh, never mind. They're there. Wow. His Big B is now off cooldown. That is the worst timing possible. Yeah. I think Wind needs to get a massive wraparound on They found 33. The toss back into oh. the middle of everyone else. And again, he's very, very tanky. And look at this damage coming out from Wind Ranger. He'll be able to take down Elmish. Takes down Lumpy. The tally will They're also fall. Oh, look at this damage. Spike barely going to be able to just uh, get out of there. Yeah, Sand King gonna run away from this. Oh, Stampede, Stampede. actually. They're looking, they're open to grab Sand King. Doesn't quite manage it. And in comes Mickey, nice leap there. Cookie hop away. Like, back off. Foxy got Limpy, all right. So, uh, this Ench is growing. What a hero. Vitali. It's not looking great here for Vitali. Does not have the uh, Stampede available. Try to run, but nope. Oh, Monkey has found over in the mid lane, though. Nisha finding an opening over onto Vitaly. They're going to be able to lock him down, hold him into place. Oh, these God. These players are doing so much boost. Absolutely just eviscerated off the side. Limpy trying to run away. They've got the BKB on Pike, but he just can't stand toe to toe. He just gets shredded. Yeah, absolute massacre. Bo Boxy? Boxy, this is not your base. Where you going, Boxy? Mickey's like, oh, hell yeah, let's go. Tries to cookie off Lumpy away. They just really want this kill. They have no respect for this base at all. There it is. There's the team wipe all the way past the tier fours. Good God. Uh, it's absurd. Right. They have they have finished farming. <laughs> They're here to end the game. Yeah. A very methodical game by Liquid, but dear Lord, you can see the potential here now that they're finally getting the payoff for the items they've built towards. I like looking at the old fight recap there and just see the Wind Ranger did 6,750 damage, Monkey did 5,000, and that's about it, you know. D DK did some 5k as well, but that was not really enough to deter this Wind Ranger diving in. You feel I don't like think they should they care, be able to take advantage of this because they know that 33 is back at the base, but gotta be so careful. Like, look at those moves, like, uh oh. Oh boy. Have to jump to that low ground, use that sproink. Another shackle, though. Like, it just. Tying this poor deer woman to every tree imaginable. Yeah, and here comes the wind ulti again. Ooh, this is it's not looking shredding. good. Alicia's just like, I'm just an innocent bystander. What happened? Very strange feeling game. Like, again, they just don't want to initiate on 33. They want to get rid of moves, though, and that seems to be the big one. Force forward. Wind just pressed the button. Tossed out. Mickey is just shredding through everyone. Shreds through Alamisha. He's got a double kill. And he's looking for more. They do manage to get the stun. The follow-up of the Monkey King ulti battalion. It's going to be those snapfire kisses from inside the well, but it is not enough. Not when you have those BKBs. Oh, good God. Multiple buybacks during all of this. But again, I just don't know what what do you do here? Alright, alright, Lumpy gets shoved around. He wants Mickey. He's gonna be tossed back. Got a lot of damage here, so okay, they'll finally get the kill in the Wind Ranger. 33, though, so tanky. Nisha comes in, has that Gleep Nair again, trying to just move Pike away to safety as Vitaly's stuck in the middle of the sandstorm. He's got a blast over out. onto multiples and drag that he's tanky, but I don't know if he's gonna be tanky enough. Still alive though, Terrorize coming into play. They finally get Pike. The chase is on. What a nice stun from the Sand King. Takes out Lumpy. Now Vitaly's got a Curse ground, he's got everybody on him. Oh, and the boundless! Oh my god. There has just been a slaughter in the dire base. DK bot back. He's he's back, he got this. I mean he's back, but he's here. It's... Yeah, no, this this was way too controlled by Liquid. They just stabilized the early game. They well the early game was rough. Mid game they stabilized it and then late game it's not even close. Their their team yeah. fight is just so absurdly much stronger. Beast Coast I respect their creativity and trying to find some way to solve this, but they just There's cannot. Yep, yep, yep. And, uh, yeah, great showing here for uh, Team Liquid in game number one of this series. Of course, this is a best of two. There's still a chance to draw this out by Beast Coasts. All right, Beast Coast, how are you going to respond to this? With the bristle? Okay. I like this. I think yep. it's taken a lot of damage here. Top has like three close spray stacks on him. Yeah, he does have magic stick, but uh, even with using that, he drops really low here. All the mana was used by the Bristleback, but he has Mango ready. This he is one of the camps too. Look at this. Woof. All right, Sane is gonna have to go for that purge. Careful, Amisha might have gone that a little bit too far. They've got a kite. Ah, oh, just didn't kite enough. Uh, he but tried. Mickey did get the uh, the experience for killing Elmi show. Game, the great team is so tanky. But uh, I like the ward they have between the mid and the uh, bottom lane there, placed by Insania. Just, mm. um, 
Oh, me so. Mm. Wrong side of the river, buddy. Oof. Trying to Gens, commit here on Mika. Yeah. They don't have any save here for him, really. Magic Stick goes used, but he yep. should be dead. Yep. Yep. I was like, oh, he's got 13 wand charges. It didn't really feel like 13 wand charges, though, the way they were just chunking through him. Yeah, they so. just keep going. I mean, you dispel it once with Oracle and you pop your Magic Stick, but ultimately the damage is so high, they just keep spamming. And at some point, Vitaly is going to have mana boots on this Bristleback, then they won't really run out of resources as well. Batman are taking Major time to prep some stacks. Here. He's got his level 5. We'll be just getting it now. Being dogged by this one tree the entire time. Yeah, always keeping track of where he's moving. It's not so much about the damage the tree and does, it's just always having vision on him. So mm. they see that he's rotating, and see he's close to top lane right now. Um, that just gives a heads up. Like, play play cautiously for a little while. Bottom lane, Pike oh, has Pike to jump so away. Low. A lot of quacking from the sniper shooting the tree and doesn't really take that much damage though. Just the harassment that comes out from that trap. Like Marana is not known for being a, a tanky hero. Yes, she, not right now anyway. It's not she, the beginning of the phase, but she doesn't have the sustainability really to happily lane here. She tries yeah. to snipe at the catapult, doesn't get it. Range creep instead. And soon we'll see impact from the mid. Nature's Prophet just about to get level 6. Once he gets that, he could start looking for moves to side lanes. Fortunately for him, the double damage rune is uh, bottom, so Lumpy not going to be able to grab that. Yeah, they have to be so careful in the side lanes right now. Mirana could be the target with this first TP. She's already a little bit low at bottom. It's not too, too much that they can do to kind of save her in any case if they decide to go hardcore for her, this Mirana. Yeah, Primal Beast doesn't have HP. If he TP's in right now, he would probably die pretty quickly. Only 400 HP, so it's a good time to go. A little bit of a dive here. Okay. Gonna get hit over, slow down a little bit. I'm just slowly running moves down. It's just not too much. Yeah, there's, here it is. A lot of damage coming in with the double damage rune. A lot Alicia. of people making this rotation. Yeah, they find themselves Elmisha over here. And they've got all of that uh, lovely, lovely shrapnel that they could use, but just healing back up a little bit. He's gonna try to hide behind this tower area. Don't know what you do right now. I feel like this Marana still. You're still in the level five too. This is such an early sort of rotation. One of the bonuses of having, you know, Nature's Prophet, right, with that teleport. Yeah, Nature's Prophet definitely having some some nice impact to the side lane. And Primal Beast, well, he's farming a lot. We haven't seen him really connect a gank yet. They've done such it's a good job so of scouting him. Prognosticate. Then, you then should know that TP's Sanya's... to the other side. <laughs> oh, play some real 4D chess here. Be like, oh yeah, I'm headed this way. But in Sanya. reality, 33 does have the roar. They're gonna have to lock him down and do enough damage so that way. So, immediately run on through, pick him up, start slamming him around. Already taken out that boar, so it's gonna be a nice kill picked up for Pike here. Oh, Insania wanted to leech experience mid. Lumpy is right around the corner, though. He's right around. Gonna go right underneath the tower, pick him up, try to shake him, but uh, the immediate response this is not what Lumpy wanted because he did no damage thanks to the Oracle spells. He's gonna walk away here on Misho, dropping down the Firefly. I think we'll start to see more of a go time once uh, this mental hammer is complete. Top lane though, jumping over onto Vitaly, and they're just everywhere. Did try to deward earlier, but uh, this new ward. Fight this? this is. Mm, I don't know. I don't know about this one, Beast Coast. Too easy right, for. Uh, away. Too easy for Mickey to find these initiations here. That's gonna give him his entire Echo Saber first. This game's so weird. <laughs> yeah, the beasts. Uh, they're coming. The they're turning them against. Against Beast Coast. Turning the tide. Do hit 33, but again, this man has an Aegis. He's also very tanky. He's also got a Monkey King and the rest of the team right behind him. Like, I don't know how you approach this. Yeah, very tricky to initiate. Mickey on the tree, 33, looking around. Nice bow. Unless the hop down comes out from Mickey. Roar comes out from 33. They don't even bother. They just rip apart Lumpy. There it is. 33 might end up falling down. He's got himself an Oracle. Keeps him alive. Mickey sitting a little bit low. The final hit coming out, though. Will ensure that he stays alive. Oh, no. 
stayed alive long enough during that fight. Thought he had enough healing, but yeah, right hard now, though again just... with an Aegis too, so. They're being outscaled. The blink dagger is up now on the Beastmaster, so he has ulti in five seconds, chasing. There's a uh, there's a lasso coming out from Elmisha. They want Mickey. I already Oracle. see the TPs are coming out. Tries to dodge a doesn't little bit ulti. of the arrow. No, and Sadie is here. But he doesn't Sadie is like, I will try to keep you alive. Please just keep running backwards for now. That and works. It looks like he's done his job. They have a ward placed. It's all monkey. Mm, yep. All right, there it is. There's a solar flare immediately stunning up Mickey, but they have the save and Sadia throwing himself, trying to keep him alive. It does manage for the time being. A nice roar over on the side. They'll pop, take, and now the goth to Loompy as they lose moves over on the other side in a circle of trees. They have to think about Sadia as one of the first people to grab, but it, it's too hard with what they have. Misha, he sees himself boxy. Are they going to go for this? Yeah, they figure might as well. Can be sneaky now on the tree end. I don't know if that's going to be enough, though, at this point, honestly. No. Gleipnir catches the beast. Uh-oh. Hi, the lore. Oh, the lore. The lore. <laughs> and Beastmaster is this is going on, you got a Beastmaster in there. They buy back on Primal. They're not happy about this. This is Insania. Trying to get himself a little bit more space. Still holding on to the ultimate, although he's going to get popped before he's going to be able to really get it off. There it is, the Solar Flare. They want to take down 33, and it looks like they should be able to do it this time around. Okay, let's go. Got some nice fight going on here. Getting on to the Oracle. Still think it, like, look at him. He's thinking about it. Uh, he has the ulti. Andy, he does have one stack still. Are they baiting the Boxy? Feels like they're baiting a little bit because like it's a choke point. It looks nice. Yeah, moves. And there they go. They wind up. They lost Boxy, but Mickey doing a lot of damage here as Nisha jumping and finds himself Pike over here on the side. Mickey needing to close this gap. We'll turn his tent over to Loompy. Doesn't want to exactly hit him though with that blade mail on. So instead, Nisha's going to get shaken around. And this is not looking good for Nisha because he is going to fall to all that damage as Mickey over on the tree is like... Mm. Sorry, guys. But now he's got Insania, so I feel like they're going to try to go back in yet again. These fights are just going on forever. And the guy slapping away over at Limpy. Sees Vitaly, wants to finish him off. Needs just a little bit more damage. He's got it. Limpy interrupting just a little bit. That blade mail, you know, it looks really nice. Glickner's going to come out here from Pike. But Mickey just waiting oh, patiently, jumps back down, says, hey, Pike, I need to be careful, though. In comes Omisha, he's got the lasso, they're going to hold him into place, but Insania, oh, stone. man, this Oracle Ooh. is doing so much. The pickup, the shake, it's not enough. The roar comes out for 33 as he just chases out to Loompy, and he is absolutely dead. Mickey still on the hunt, finds himself, moves, thinking he's going to cut himself down a tree. And it's oh. looking pretty good, except for, no, there it is, there's that purge. A little bit of a chase, and it's going to be Insania who gets the double kill. Oh, oh my boy. goodness, they're still... Elmisha's just flying away, but... Oh, hey, Boxy! Boxy sees him, he's like, Oh, you want that shield rune? You're gonna have to work for it, my friend, as while this is all going on, they are just taking down the tower. Yeah, just keeping him busy. Meanwhile, Nature's Prophet not interested in that. He's just going straight for the racks. I'm just gonna send Mickey right in. No problem, he's got himself that, uh, that Aegis. Oh, immediately! Look how fast that was! Vitalik, just, there's no one there now! No one there to protect you. Like, oh, try to blow up Insania! He's absolutely the person that they need to focus on, but he's alright! He's gonna be just fine! He keeps himself alive! He's like, yeah, I got my course, got this! Throw down the reins! Do 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 do! Chasing after Boxy! They'll end up losing him, but they'll get a triple kill on 33 as Nisha cleans up Pike. I don't know. Absolutely oh, okay, a... dominant performance here. Team Liquid, first team uh, of today that we cast uh, Moxie that absolutely oh, just uh, destroyed right. their game. I like how like 33 and Lumpy are just like stomping around each other with the swarm. And... <laughs> yeah, they both have cooldowns on most of their abilities. Can't do too much more now. Mm. It is, it is. And a lot of the times, you know, you're, you're scrimming, you're getting used to each other, but... Oh gosh, yeah. Vitaly just absolutely melts. There's... There is no front line. <laughs> Got a harpoon too. And then just start flicking away over here at Pike. Still be able to slow him down just a little bit, but you've got all these rains coming in, you've got all the sustain, you've got the <laughs> lockdown, you've got the like Liquid has literally everything that it needs. Yeah. Insania is just spamming heals on the monkey king is like, you're gonna be fine. He even has a greater healing lotus ready. Just, you know, in case of emergency, break the glass. But I think he's gonna <laughs> keep that pristine going into the post-game screen. Mm -hmm. oh. Celebrate with it. Buy back on the bat rider, Mickey. Yeah, uh, maybe went a oh, little bit too far. Does have something? Us. Oh, there oh. it is. There it is. They're like, hi, you're gonna try to kill my core. I don't think so. They uh, they could just finish the game, but they're having a good time <laughs> right now. Look at this heal, like it's insane. They tried to jump on insane, they can't get him. And he just keeps everybody alive, real healthy, like. 
Yeah. He even had Aegis, so worst case scenario, that's Aegis pump. That's not even a kill. That's, yeah, I was surprised that he even went for the save while he had the Aegis, honestly. But, you know, why not? You had it. You weren't too worried. <laughs> it's about set message, for instance. <laughs> yeah, you do not kill my core. You not know? touch his Mickey Vu.